I've looked at on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Uh, just a quick update for those of you with AT&T S5. Uh, you can go ahead and update it using uh, Chainfire's Flash Fire app, uh, which is a beta app uh, that allows you to flash uh, firmwares and uh, zip files and whatnot. Um, this way you can go ahead and keep root. And let me go ahead and show you here. And you can do this from any ROM, all right, which is the good part. I get the latest Android 5.0. Uh, all the latest lollipop. This is pretty much standard AT&T uh, lollipop, but uh, by using this method, uh, you will not lose root. All right, super SU working just fine here. Um, so definitely um, check it out. If you're still on KitKat, uh, this might be a worth of an upgrade. So definitely check it out. Uh, let me go ahead and show you how to install it. Pretty easy to install. Uh, you just need flash fire and download the files. You can do it all on your phone. So let's go do this, baby. Now for this, we need Flash Fire app. Uh, this app you can go ahead and download from the Play Store uh, after signing up for the community, uh, Train Fire's community. Go ahead and do that. I'll have all the links on my site, so do that. And go ahead and click on the link to uh, download from the Play Store. Once you have this app installed, uh, you also need uh, the actual ROM file, the stock ROM file, all right? Go ahead and download that also. Uh, that should be uh, G900A blah 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 dot zip, okay? That's what you need. You can go ahead and download straight to your phone if you want to. And also running uh, Flash Fire, um, go ahead and run it. And make sure you have root. Uh, I do have root, I just denied it for some reason. Let me go ahead and fix this real quick. And make sure you grant it, otherwise you'll have to do what I did here. Now if, it's, if it force closes, for some reason you can't open up uh, Flash Fire, change the date to like 2013 or 2012 yeah, or something and then it'll work. For some reason, uh, with the latest date, it doesn't work. So make sure you do that. One thing I had to do. Alright, hit agree. No thanks here. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and install the stock firmware. Alright, um, go ahead and hit the plus button and then go ahead and flash zip or OTA. All right, and go ahead and find the file, which for me, it's in the download folder. It's the G900A uh, stock DODX. There's ODX and DODX, but I do recommend the DODX version. So you can go ahead and install um, cool stuff like uh, exposed apps and stuff. All right, and just leave that unchecked there. All right, go ahead and hit the lightning bolt and hit OK. All right, and this will install uh, your new lollipop ROM with root. And boom shakalaka. If you got to this screen, uh, you should be good to go. So that's how you install it. Oh yeah. And we thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. Uh, and as always, I stay on Android. <laughs>